And I had decided to do this performance. It started with, um, I was reading this book, Kindred by Octavia Butler, which I recommend people read, um, where a kind of contemporary woman gets pulled into the past and realizes she has to save historical, you know, one of her ancestors who turns out to be um, a white ancestor while the woman is African-American. And um, in reading that book, I was trying to figure out like, oh, can I adapt it? What, what should I do? Should I try to like make, you know, a picture of the book or something? And my advisor was like, why don't you just do the book or like perform the book. Um, so among my like things I did at Monticello, I um, sang karaoke. Um, I'm really into how song, even contemporary music can somehow disrupt and as a kind of anomaly or anachronism can kind of tip people off to something being not quite right on the site. And there are a lot of ways things can be not quite right on the site. And in this case, it's me and this ghost, but it's also, you know, slavery and all of the kind of triggering ideas and terms and experiences that come out of this site. Um, I ate chicken and I went for a run and read and cried um, and also kind of served as a like one of few like people there kind of guiding people. People were like, where's the bathroom? Or like, where, how do we um, find the next tour? So I was really interested in how making an outfit and, you know, again, it started with trying to figure out what uniform this, this person would wear, sewing this outfit by hand, um, but trying to figure out, um, you know, how to be a tour guide in an unconventional way um, on a site that didn't have, um, at the time, people dressed up as tour guides. And that work led to, oh, and Sally Hemings, I don't know if people, if people know this, she's Thomas Jefferson's, the mother of four of his children, and, um, She's, in, she's a person who was enslaved at Monticello. Um, her life is very interesting. I would certainly just read up on her and then you'll know more about her. 